We hope you all. Thank you very much for tuning in. The Quagger is the ultimate armored loss predator from Predator 2. This is the brand new version from NECA. They did make an older version, but this is the new one with the new LED helmet and stuff. And I can't wait to mess with this one. It looks so awesome. Comes in a very cool box. It's got the number one logo there on the side. Oh, sorry, 10. 10 for... No, is it 10? No, it's number one. Number one. And then there's the 30th anniversary collection available, which has got all the different figures that have come out or have been out. Um, I got this actually sent to me free of charge from Zavi. So thank you very much, Zavi, for hooking us up with this awesome action figure. If you want to use my discount code on the Zavi store, you can get 20% off all clothing by using Super Sorrel 20. And you can get 10% off all action figures and other goodies from the website. It's site wide, apparently, and you can use a Super Sorrel 10. That's Super Sorrel 10, all in word, no spaces. Super Sorrel 20 for clothing, all in word, no spaces. So guys, without further ado, let's break this one out of the box. So as you can see, it has a very nice artist rendering on the front there. On the side, it has the name Predator. And then on the back, it has a nice write-up. I ripped it when I got it out of the box, by the way. It didn't turn up like this. I did that. <laughs> well, I got very excited opening the box. And yeah, as I do, I put, I put my scissors in and went... <laughs> And yeah, I scored it. <laughs> but yeah, without further ado, I'm going to get this one out because it says on the back, Armored Lost Predator, a master of weapons. This mysterious mercenary of the rogue space tribe was originally part of Greyback's old crew, the Lost Tribe. Sorry, yeah, Greyback's old crew, the Lost Tribe, from which he took his name. After being tricked into that into a heist job with Spike Tail and Laser Shot on Yuja, I can never, I can never pronounce that name for the, for the race. Is it Yuja? On Yuja Prime? Lost was convicted as an accomplice to the theft of the experimental user technology, which included weapons and spaceships. Being pursued by the High Council and their enforcers, the trio used the stolen prototype ship to narrowly escape off-world. After his deception, Lost had no trust for his fellow two new partners, but conceded that this that it's the only tribe he can still hunt with and maintain his honour. Now with an advanced ship, they can travel through space and time to explore new systems, unlike any other Yatuja ever could. In addition to taking mer mercenary jobs from other alien races, they eventually became specialised in artificial intelligence hunts, expanding well past biological targets, silent and tactical. Lost prefers solitude and brings much needed order to an otherwise chaotic nature of his new crew. Includes the LED light-up masked head, sword throwing disc and two interchangeable hands. Ooh, I like the lore on the back of these. They always give you a really cool write-up. <coughs> and this is readily a stock uh, you're readily in stock by the way over on Zavi. Um it's 32.99 I believe it was. And it is readily available if you're wanting one. It's not a bad price some of the, I have I haven't I don't think I found it cheaper anywhere else at the minute. Yeah, they're all about the same price for this one. Oh, the hands have just dropped out. <laughs> the other hands have just popped out as well. Now, we're going to be careful. It is a NECA product after all. We all know what happens with NECA products. You've got to be careful. Especially over recent years. I've noticed that seems to have gotten worse as years have gone on, by the way, with NECA. Right, nearly there. That's the waist. One arm. The arm's out. I think we're there. We've got a couple of different heads we can use this time. Which is nice. So let me just go grab that. I don't like changing the hands on predators. I always find that once you change the hand on a predator, it's never the same. Is it just the three hands? One, two, three. Yes, three hands. Ah, my finger! <laughs> As if I just did that, what a turn it. Right. 
Okay, here we are. So here is the Predator out of the packaging, looking really awesome. I really do love this Predator, it is so cool. I like this one ever since I saw it, and I just wish it had. I know they've got the open mouth one. I wish they would invent a Predator where you could push down the jaw and it just go Mah. But obviously with it, being, with it being a negatory, you never know, you might not want it to do that. But yeah, I think it would be cool to see that. Um, but we do have his really cool cannon and stuff on his shoulder, which is nice. He does have a sheath on the back for the sword. And this is the sword that it's come with. Nice black and red blade. So I'm going to go ahead and slide that into the sheath. Have I put that wrong way? No, I don't. There we go. And that just slides out the back. So articulation-wise on this Predator, the head will be on a ball joint, so you can make him look up and down, left and right, just a little bit loo uh, a bit snug at this point. Uh, but yeah, you can see you can move him up and down. His arms will lift up that top hinge. This piece does flap up, so you can get it up over the shoulder blades. It won't pull, which is nice. Um, it is removable as well, I believe. Or no, no, it's not. That's just pulling away from the plastic. <laughs> but yeah, it does move up and down as well as forwards. There is the double hinge elbow on these ones as well. If we can just get that activated. Ooh. There is a joint there. I have to warm that up. <clears throat> Again, always warm up your collectibles, especially NECA ones. They do sometimes require warming up prior to usage. The other arms folded straight away, which is good. The other one's still a little bit on the stuck side. We might get it there. There we go. There we go. Yes, yeah, so there we go. I've got both hands activated. Both arms activated now. Obviously the arms do lift up and do rotate at the bicep as well, which is nice. Some great articulation on these and the hands are on little uh, ball joints as well. He's got the hinge at the diaphragm. You can also rotate him as well as at the waist. Legs do lift out as well as forwards with a double hinged knee on this one as well. No top thigh cut, no boot cut, but the feet are movable as well. You can get the feet to go any which way you want. They are on ball joints and he does have holes in the bottom of his feet should you wish to use a display base. The actual detailing on the face of the actual Predator is beautiful on this one. I really like how it looks. I'm loving the different, um, you know, the scale pattern that they've used there. If I zoom in there, I'm not sure if you can get the camera to not focus on me for a second. There you go. You can see the lovely greens and reds they've used there with the shading. It's very nice. Uh, but this isn't the head I'm going to be using on my Predator. So I'm going to pop this off. Let's see how easy it is to get the heads on and off. So the first one's off. Then we have the second head which is the open mouth version of the of the first head. And that's that one. Again, I won't be using that either in mine because it comes with the new style LED masks, which they've started doing ever since the new Predator movie. We got the, the, glow, the glow in the dark mask. And now we're getting them with all the models. And the battery's out working. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Come on. I can't believe that. No batteries from start. So, can we replace the batteries in these things? There we go, that is on the bottom. To replace battery, reveal battery housing by removing the top part of the helmet and replace as needed. It, um, what kind of battery do these things take? Because it must be a very small battery. So the top part of the head just pops off apparently. Oh, there we go. And it, oh, it's oh, it, maybe they weren't in. Two tiny watch batteries. What's happened to my camera is just like slumped to one side. I'm sorry, there we go. Maybe because they weren't in properly. Let's have another go. Nope. <laughs> Nope. Let me just have a quick see of a look if I've got any of these kind of batteries in stock. Oh no, these are super tiny ones. Don't think I have any of these. So I'll just go and put them back in for now. I can't believe that. That's not Zavi's fault, that's Necker's fault. 
No batteries from the start, are you kidding me? We have a little play for a sec, see if I can get these working. Whew, we did it. We did it. Managed to get it going. <clears throat> that took some doing. So it was that the batteries were in the wrong way around, so whoever assembled it and put it together put the batteries in wrong. So watch out for that when you're unboxing it. If yours doesn't light up too, it's probably because you need to switch around the batteries. But there he is now, with his eyes glowing, which is really cool. That does look badass. Um, so he does come with multiple hands as well. So I am going to go ahead and swap out one of the hands so it can hold the actual weapons. Because um, I'm probably going to display him holding the sword. I'm not sheathed it. Just met, I'm just ruffling up the hair right now so I can get the hair to actually go around the figure. It's the only thing when you get these new predators, all the braids take forever to kind of re like assemble around the figure. There we go. So let's go ahead and replace some hands. We have got some different hands available. He's got two open palm hands right now. But we can also get um, this hand. And we've got another similar one which is tighter. I'm guessing that's for the sword. And then like a, another hand which I'm guessing that's to hold this, isn't it? Well, they wouldn't really sit in the hand, which is dead annoying. Yeah, see, I don't want to see yeah. that. That's very cool. And then the sword. Take out the sword. Ugh. That's going to go in this hand, I believe. There we go. So I've replaced this hand. Pops out, pops back in, and now he's got the sword. Just like on the box. That's how I'm going to explain like how he's on the box. So I'd probably put the sword sort of down and back, as if he's skulking through somewhere. With that head glowing. Guys, <laughs> I light up again. Temperamental batteries. There we go. I'll leave those on while we go on down to the desk cam. So let's head on down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at this awesome predator. So let's head on down to the desk cam. So here he is out of the packaging, guys, looking awesome. I really do love this figure. It is really good. The LED eyes are really nice once they actually work. Yeah, they are really nice, very detailed. Loving the uh, design on there as well. Very well done. Some nice sculpting in there. The mask looks absolutely immaculate. I love that mask. And the braids of things very nicely sculpted as well. Once you get them all settled on him, it does look very nice. There's a side profile there for you, and you can see very well, nicely detailed. I love all the little green and red for his scale skin. All the armor pieces are nicely painted silver with the bits of red and things. So it really does look nice. Even the sword, very well detailed, right to the tip. A really good figure all around. This is a great improvement from the previous one. It has been some years since we got the last one. So this is a very nice addition to any Predator collection. But guys, what are your thoughts on this Predator? And don't forget to use our discount codes. We have Supersol 20 for clothing and Supersol 10 for site-wide collectibles. Make sure you use them if you're going to go on Zavi. Let them know that Super Sorrel sent you. But guys, let's head on back to the main cam and finish off this video. So guys, what are your thoughts on this Predator? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review today, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps out. It helps us to keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And until next time, may the Force be with you. Bye!